Well, hi everyone. We're here this morning with Barbara Orchard. Uh, Barbara has an amazing testimony to, to speak to us this morning, but first of all, we'll just hear a bit of the journey about how Barbara uh, found the lighthouse. Uh, thanks. Uh, as you've heard, my name is I'm Barbara Orchard. Uh, come from Belmont Street. Uh, yeah, I just want to thank God who led me through this journey to this lighthouse ministries. Uh, basically, we're living in Mackay with my husband, Shane Orchard, and he was working in the mines. Uh, while we were there, we felt the Lord was asking us to come to Brisbane, and uh, it was a big challenge for us as a family because he was getting good manners, we all know, in the mines. But God had asked us to come here. So when we came to Brisbane, we really uh, didn't know how to start. Because like uh, his income went down to a half of what he used to get there. And the bills here just increased. The rent was two times what we used to pay in Mackay. And uh, so we, we, we couldn't afford to, to pay rent and then all the bills that fall. One time I met a friend of mine and uh, she told me about Lighthouse. We came here and uh, I realized that uh, it really helped us as a family because we were able to, to pay all the bills. So I just want to thank God for that. Yeah. Well, that's, that's awesome. So you were coming next door. You didn't perhaps know there was a church next door, so then you, um, Debbie gave you a bit of a tour yeah. of, of the church, yeah. and so then last week was your first time with us, and while you were in the meeting, you felt God impressing uh, on your heart. Can you explain more about that? Yeah, sure. Okay, when uh, we've been coming to Lighthouse for like six months, and I remember last year in 2013, I met Deb. Of course, I didn't know that uh, there was a church. I thought that it was only you know, a caring place where you just come and buy your food, go. But when I met Deb, we, our spirits really connected, and uh, she invited me, and she took me around the place. But that time, I really didn't feel like coming to the church until uh, three months later, again, I met her, and uh, she still invited me to come and have a look at the place. This time, I felt God was speaking to me that, you know, you should join this church. And uh, my first Sunday with my husband, when we came, we were sitting at the back, and God opened my eyes to see things that will soon take place in this place. The first thing I saw was uh, uh, an endless tunnel, and this tunnel was like, uh, you know, when, like, when you go in America, they have got those underground tunnels, and the purpose of those tunnels is to save the, the Congress in the case of any war. So they take refuge under those tunnels. And, the, you know, like even if there is a war going on in the in upside, I mean in the world, but under those, that underground tunnel, they can still keep uh, running the government. So God showed me that tunnel with an endless light. And that light was coming through. And then he, he said, this place is going to be a place of refuge for the great men and women of God. It's going to be like uh, where, uh, Egypt. When Jesus was born, he was born with a great purpose. But Egypt was his place of refuge. And it, all, it also brought me to this uh, scripture where um, Elijah was a man of God. He was sent to do the work. But he got to that place this place where he needed something to eat and God led him to the, to the widow where this widow look, uh, provided for him and he, later on he was able to fulfill what God wanted him to, to do. So I'm here to, to encourage the whole church, all the people who are getting the opportunity to join this church. It's only my second time. I'm not doing politics but I'm really speaking what God showed me about this ministry, uh, God showed me that this ministry is going to take over this street, be ready to buy these buildings from the other end up to the other end. For God showed me the revival. He showed me 
many cars parking. It's, it's just, it's going, it's going to be a great ministry. And you just better get ready to expand and be willing for the move of God in this place because I sense it. I sense it. I've been around Australia, but I've never really felt something like I've found in this place. It's a place of love. It's a place of refuge. And all people who come in this place, they come broken hearted. They have lost their purpose. They don't know what to do. But as soon as you come here, God says he's going to cause you to realize your purpose, rise on your feet, and begin moving, going forward again. Wow. That's awesome, Barbara. Thank you. It's so great that um, we could connect with you. Uh, thank you for your obedience eh, to, to come but then to be willing to share your heart and your passion, that's awesome. Uh, those words actually are confirming other words that we've had over a period of time. So, so we say yay and amen and, and to that, and we really just, yeah, that's so, so awesome. And you know, we're all on this journey together, so it's awesome that you're now on this journey with us. And so thank you for taking the time today to, to speak to the people of uh, Lighthouse Church. Thank you. Thank you.